Yeah. So here it begins. So here it begins. So here it begins. <laughs> sessions in my diving career because I'm going to be learning a new dive that I never thought I'd ever be doing in my diving career and probably one that I vowed to never ever do because well for one I saw no reason to do it because it's quite hard um, two I don't want to do it wrong because that would hurt but now I'm kind of in a position where it's more of a realistic thing so we're going to give it a go today because today is apparently learn new dive day the dive is one that was considered to be the hardest dive in the world for the last few years but now kind of everyone does it but i'm pretty certain that i'll be the only if not one of very few people over six foot uh, to be doing this dive in the world and this dive is the forward four and a half somersaults with Tuck. <laughs> Which is considered kind of the make or break dive for those who use it in competition because if it goes well because of the DD it can bring you so many points. I mean, I've seen this dive go down for I think it was 110 points that Jack got on it. But then, if it doesn't go so well, if you struggle in it, then you could be getting like mid 40 points, and that's not very ideal for competition. So, I don't think I'll be ever doing this diving competition because the easier version of the direction which I do is pretty good. So, I think I'm just doing it just for the sake of doing it, but why not, eh? Why not? At least it'll be a nice little accomplishment in my diving career to put on top of all the others. So we're just kicking off with lead ups first on the one meter springboard. If the video is shaking, that's because my hand is shaking and I'm nervous. Go time, let's do it. Mission complete. A bit shaky, but you know, got it done. A little bit. Got it. A little bit shaky. <laughs> got it done. Got it done. Nice no, Got it done. It wasn't exactly four and a half somersaults. It was a bit more, but I did it, and that'll do. 